Hey guys, it's Kyler, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the Thread 1 Sigbert or Signal Abort error in Swift on Xcode. So, this error usually occurs uh, when you've deleted or changed the name of one of your UI elements that is connected to your controller. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and create a project and show you guys how the error is caused and then I'm going to show you guys how to fix it. So if I go ahead and create a new project, uh, we'll do single view app and then I'm just going to call it uh, sig test. Alright, there we go. And then if I go to the storyboard and I add a UI element such as a label being a little bit slow right now but here we go all right so I've got my label and then I'm going to go ahead and open the assistant okay that took a while to load but if I go ahead and try to connect the label to my controller by pressing control and dragging it uh, you'll see that I can go ahead and name it let's say I want to name it thingy uh, I'll go ahead and have a connection now but if I decide that I don't want it to be named thingy anymore and I were to delete this and then try to make a new connection by dragging this in again and name it something else uh, this time let's name it label that's going to create a problem so if I go ahead and run my uh, simulator here I'll go ahead and open that up so you guys can see it Okay guys, so it's taking forever to load up, but pretty soon it should open the app, there we go, and it should crash. Okay, there we go. So you can see down here that it has terminated, and the reason is because thread 1 signal abort. So to fix that, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the main storyboard. And then I'm going to click on the label here and to fix it I'm going to go to the far right here to the connections inspector and you can see the referencing outlets here so I can go ahead and delete the one that I do not want anymore which is thingy that is the old one so if I delete this and then I go ahead and try to run the simulation again Alright, so as this loads up, we should see that this time our app will open and it will function perfectly fine. So we can see the label here now and we no longer have the signal abort error. So that's all I have for you guys and if this helped, please leave a like or subscribe. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments because I'm more than happy to answer them. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.